What's going on, everybody? Thank you so much for joining. Hope you're having a great one today. As always, as you can probably tell from that beautiful little So-So Toys candy wrapper uh, and the wonderful John Lander there, we are taking a look at Homelander from So-So Toys. Uh, he has finally arrived. I am both very excited and terrified. I don't know why I'm trying to open that bag delicately. I don't really care about it. Anyways, um, if you're not familiar with this figure, he has been delayed for a very, very long time. Um, to give you an idea, since his announcement and pre-order, uh, there's been like two other companies that have released a figure of him, actually three, uh, one of them being Star Ace, so you get a licensed one out of it. Um, and honestly, they've even started the Gen V spinoff at this point, so it's been quite a while. Um, since this guy was announced, but I am very happy to have him. Uh, now, the other ones that are available, from what I've seen, kind of vary in quality. Right now, the top of the line, from what I can tell... Ooh, uh, that's a cool little insert. Um, from everything I've seen, Premium Toys has a set of five head sculpts that is, like, absolutely outstanding. And from what I've heard, the ideal thing to do is to get this figure and get those head sculpts. Now, I'm not too sure if I'm going to end up getting those head sculpts myself. Uh, I might, depending on how hideous these are. Um, but something to be be mindful of. Now, the other options, like I said, there's... Oh, that didn't sound right. Uh, there's one by Star Ace, which is a significantly amount larger amount of money than this fella. Um, Star Ace normally not too great, so probably wouldn't suggest them. Uh, Toy Works has a figure called the Republican, which is honestly pretty hideous. I don't really like hating on anything, but I was not very impressed with it from what I have seen. Um, and then you do have, I think Toys Era is the other one that's doing one that's coming out soon. And that one should actually have the premium uh, Toys head sculpts with it. And, of course, we get tape. Goodbye. Why did it cut the other piece so easily in this one? All right. Now, you do get a ton of stuff with him, uh, which is awesome. <laughs> one of the things that I'm very excited for just in this little accessory pack is the bottle of milk. I think that's a pretty cool addition that they've got there. I'm going to go ahead and pull this out real fast if I can. Of course, it's taped in, because why wouldn't it be? Uh, but this little pack is basically going to be the extra hands. I'm not going to look at them too much, because this is kind of the important thing there. Uh, but you get some extra hands for him, which is awesome. Uh, he does have separate little shoulder pads to attach, which I don't think will be too tricky by any means. And then you get his cute little milk bottle, which... That's fun. Nice little touch. I like that. Uh, now, he may be a little tricky to get out, because it seemed like his cape was weaved through the box. What I'm doing is stupid. Alright. I should probably be a little bit careful with this. It doesn't feel like it's secured. Uh-huh. Alright, so the bottom of it's wired, and that's why it's being a little bit tricky to get out. There we go. Let's get all this plastic wrap off of you and take a look. Um, now again, I've seen some photos, and the head sculpts looked awful. I'm just going to be honest. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, that's, <laughs> that's not good. Um, that is uh, that is really not good. I mean, it's, it's not good. <laughs> let's just be real that is that's not good um i mean if you had like some really weird shadow to where you and i can't even block the light good enough to do it but maybe you could hide that and make it look okay i mean i guess from far away if you've got him at like just the right angle and you're squinting and maybe have like a bunch of figures in the foreground, um, then yeah, it'll, it'll look like Homelander. But uh, that sculpt at least, no bueno. Um, now, I was honestly hoping that they were going to do uh, some different sculpts once they revealed them, uh, but no luck in that regard, which is kind of depressing. Um, the suit's a pretty interesting material. It does 
actually not restrict his movement at all, which is, well, I shouldn't say at all. You do get a little bit of restriction there, and you can't really raise it much higher than that. But uh, for the most part, really good job in that regard. And one thing I was kind of concerned with, some of the early photos that I had seen, the, uh, the muscle structure of his body was just terrible. Like his abs went up to his pecs and it just looked awful. Decent bend in the elbow, so no, no real issues there. Got the nice double joint. I don't really know what this material is. It's, it's pretty interesting. I mean, it feels, it's definitely fabric. Almost looks a little translucent from, like I'm assuming that's the, yeah, you can kind of see through it a little bit, so it's almost nut-like, which is weird. Definitely a strange choice. Um, I don't hate it. Now, if you were interested in doing a body swap, they do make it kind of easy and give you a nice little zipper there. Um, one thing I theorized as far as why this figure took a long time, and I'll be interested to see how it ends up holding up over time, uh, I'm worried that the blue is going to bleed onto his cape a little bit. Um, one of the issues they had with Omni-Man was the color bleeding onto his cape, and I almost worry they were taking some time to do some extra testing to make sure that doesn't happen. Now, he does have a decent wire up. Nope, I lied. The wire's pretty much just in the bottom. Uh, the edge of the cape is pretty nice, though. What I may end up doing myself is just kind of getting some styrofoam, cutting a little piece of foam to put there just so it kind of... Elevates the cape and pulls it a little bit away from his outfit, especially if he's standing up, if you've got it to where it's, you know, blowing or pulled back a little bit to where it's not direct contact. He'll pose pretty well that way and you're not going to worry about staining. So more than likely that'll be the route that I take. I'm kind of curious how the little uh, shoulder pads click on. Oh, they're magnetic. All right, we'll do one real quick. Just for the lulls, because I am... I'm kind of interested to see how it goes. They taped this thing so well. I mean, I feel like if you get into the box, you don't really need this to be that secured. Like, you made it this far already. I just want one of them. Come here. Come here. It was a little more of a challenge than it should have been, but that's okay. It's probably not even the right arm. Uh, oh, yeah, that just pops on real easy. Kind of a cool little uh, eagle. I'm genuinely impressed with how well that sits on. I don't know if the magnet's in the suit or in the body. Kind of can't really tell. That might be something to be mindful of if you do do a, a uh, body swap. Because I don't feel any separate... Like, I can't really feel any noticeable, you know, bulge or anything there where the uh, a magnet might be. So I'm almost thinking it could be in his arm, and if that's the case, I might have to glue those fellas on if he actually did do a body swap out at some point. Um, let's take a look at the other exciting stuff, if I can get it out. Not that this base is too impressive, but for those wondering. Actually, it is a pretty, pretty cool design. I'm a fan. I think that's supposed to be an eagle wrapping around. I think that's supposed to be an eagle head, maybe. It's probably one of those things that I'm stupid and should know what it is, but I just don't. Oh well. Won't be the first time. Alright. That should be a dynamic stand at least, I believe. Yep. Okay, good. So those you've seen before, I obviously don't have to pull that little prong out. What do we got up here? Uh, all right, so those are going to be the extra batteries. He does have a light, light up eye uh, effect for one of the heads, which is pretty dang cool. Um, one of the other things I do want to take a look at is these guys here. Uh, these are actually pretty dang heavy. So one of the kind of fun things that you got, uh, one of them was a pre-order bonus, and then I think the other was like a deluxe add-on accessory, but they're essentially these <laughs> just really weird busts to store the extra heads on. Um, it was one of those things where, like, I, I really don't know if I will ever actually use these for anything. Um, but, 
figured why not. And it is pretty dang hefty. So that's the uh, the silver one. I think this is the standard one that came with the deluxe. Um, it's got the nice little Homelander down at the bottom. Uh, so this will basically just let you display the other head sculpts that you might have um, for him. Honestly, it's pretty cool. It is, like I said, hefty. This They actually made it out of metal, which kind of surprised me. Sadly, you leave fingerprints on it easy, so be mindful of that. Pretty cool. Like I said, it's uh, nothing to really write home about, but you do also get a gold one, which I'm going to try to real quickly undo, just in case you were wondering what that one looked like. Um, honestly, it's the same thing, just a different color scheme. One thing that I do notice with the gold one, I'm actually curious about on the silver one now too, didn't realize that the uh, the cape was actually pliable. Uh, it very much is with the gold ones, so it kind of drew my attention right away. Um, silver one didn't notice it as bad. Alright, so the gold one's kind of being a jerk, but I do get to play with some bubble wrap. Feel free to hit the fast forward button. Alright, there we go. So if you're wondering, there's the gold one. And again, same basic thing. I almost wish they would have done the uh, the necks in gold as well for no particular reason. I mean, I guess you don't really need them, but uh, it's a nice little touch. Like I mentioned, I probably am not going to use them. They're kind of unnecessary in my opinion, but certainly not the end of the world. And the extra head sculpts from what I've seen are way better than the standard ones. So we'll take a quick glance at them. Uh, this should be the light up function one. Um, and that looks not awful. I mean, it's not great. Like, especially at that angle, I would not say it's Homelander. Um, but I don't hate this one. I'll, I'll give them credit in that regard. This will probably be the one I end up using just because I feel like it's, at least so far, out of the two the best. Maybe number three will be the overall winner. Yep, it is. All right, I lied. So this one... That one I actually feel kind of looks like him. I mean, again, it's kind of one of those where it's off a little bit. Maybe more than a little bit. I'm probably being genuine there. Um, but generous. Anyway, you get what I mean. <laughs> this one's definitely not perfect by any means, but comparatively, you know, especially kind of far back, um, yeah, that one's probably the winner. Like I said, at, at a good angle, decent lighting, it'll kind of look like Homelander. And that's not really saying much. Um, honestly, I... Uh, this is probably the first big miss for me with Soso. I love everything except the head sculpts, and maybe that's why it took a while. They might have just been, you know, almost embarrassed. <laughs> I hate using that word for it, but compared to the other stuff they've released, this is just... It's not good.